What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today, I wanted to give you guys an updated uh, what I have left available for sale. So I still am selling some statues that uh, I haven't been able to sell yet. I've had people promise to buy and never did. As well as someone even just uh, threw a deposit down and then deleted their Instagram account and doesn't respond to my emails. So uh, that statue is now back up for sale. But we do have some statues for sale that... By, by any means, I'm in no rush. You know, I'm not hurting for money or anything like that. In fact, I'm extremely good in money situation-wise. But I still want to sell these statues for the sake of space and I'm no longer in those lines and so forth. Uh, so let's get right to it. We do have one Dragon Ball Z statue for sale. Uh, and that is the MRC Goku vs. Vegeta, the Kamehameha vs. Gout Gun. In my opinion, this is one of the best unlicensed DBZ statues. I'll show up some pictures here. Uh, so I'm actually uh, selling this for $1,000 shipped USA. It's mint condition, zero damage, original run, limited to 200. There's a lot of recasts out there, uh, but this is the original run. I have the COA and everything. It's all boxed up, ready to go. So that's the only DBZ statue. I have contemplated if I should consider selling these and then getting like KD Janemba, uh, you know, I could easily fit that there or even fit Prime 1 Goku, Prime 1 Vegeta and put KD Janemba right there. So I have contemplated that. I'm just not sure. I mean, that Janemba, I mean, it's a good movie, but I'm really trying to focus on Dragon Ball Z and whatnot. And Saiyan Saga is very crucial. And I already sold my Tasume. And honestly, I want to rebuy the Tasume. If I'm ever moving to a new house and I have the space and means, I'd want to rebuy the Tsume and, you know, these will be harder to get. Uh, so I really want to have a Saiyan Saga. You know, I had to sell it to buy Queen Arnold, but in the future, I want to rebuy them, to be honest. And the only movie statue I really want is Broly. So I do think Katie Janemba is amazing, but I'm just trying to stay away from movie related statues outside of that Broly. Let me know your thoughts, though, on that. Uh, so that's the only Dragon Ball Z that's for sale. Uh, we still are selling this Dante statue. Uh, so I'm just going to list this at $750 shipped. No plus shipping or anything. That's basically retail cost. It's not 100% mint. Some of the things don't fit in that good. And one, the glue came undone, so I re-glued it. Uh, but when it's on display, it's not a big deal. And it looks awesome. As you can see, I only want to sell that for the sake of space, and I'm trying not to have duplicate characters. You know, I only want to have one of each video game character and the best version. You know, for me, I like Prime 1 more because it's from Devil May Cry 5, which is my favorite Devil May Cry. And this is Devil May Cry 1. Now, that is an amazing statue, but I, I want to stick to one character just because my video game statue space is very limited. And so I need to stick to one uh, character. So... You know, I want that space, for example, for like Prime 1 Leon, Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil 2, uh, if that could fit there. Uh, so he is for sale. Uh, and then the rest of my statues for sale are really just boxed up. So I'll show some pictures here, but we have the Weta Geisha from Ghost in the Shell. Uh, we're selling her for $600 shipped. She's mint condition, boxed up, ready to go. 600 shipped U.S., and if you're uh, international, we can probably do something like 700 shipped, depending on uh, location. Uh, we also have Sideshow Phoenix, the green version. Uh, she's listed at 600 shipped USA. And I could do uh, 650 shipped Canada. Uh, and here's her uh, stock photos. She's mint condition, boxed up, ready to go. We also have a Sideshow Deadpool Heat Seeker exclusive, mint condition, boxed up, ready to go. You know, I'm sticking to the movie version for my Deadpool 1 4th, which I got. I think this Heat Seeker is an absolutely amazing statue, and I would love to keep it, but I'm getting away from the whole comic based uh, 1 4th, only keeping the Venom. Uh, so we're selling this at $750 shipped USA. And trying to think what else I'm selling. So I'm not selling it yet, but eventually when Prime 1 reveals their Nathan Drake, I'll sell that one. Uh, I will, like I said, I'm sticking to one character. So once Prime 1 reveals theirs and whatnot, I would sell that one. Uh, you know, I, 
I know Primal also announced The Last of Us. You know, I already got Gaming Heads Ellie on pre-order. So I'll probably still get Ellie from Gaming Heads, but then get Prime 1's Last of Us 1. You know, if they do a Joel and Ellie, like, diorama, then I'd keep that and have that as a Last of Us 2. Trying to think, but yeah, I believe that's uh, everything for sale. Uh, pretty much uh, that's about it as far as 